Hey YouTube, it's Manny. My game rig is now over two years old. And when I built it, I went with an Intel i5-8400 GTX 1060 6GB graphics card, a cheap case, and an even cheaper power supply. So not exactly top of the line. I've decided to treat myself to a new gaming rig. I always find it interesting to see what other people are using for their hardware. So I figured I'd show you mine as I built it. This is not going to be a how to build a PC, because I'm really not sure how qualified I am to do that. But rather, this is just what I have. If I do anything stupid during the build, please let me know in the comments below so I can fix it. I'll put a complete list of parts in the description below, and where I picked them from. Before we start, if you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. Also, ding that notification bell so you know when new videos are posted. You can also find me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash where I stream Friday, Saturday, and Sunday evening starting at 10pm Eastern Standard Time. Typically play looter shooters, and always enjoy playing with viewers. So if you're looking for someone to run with, you can hit me up on the Militia Discord server. The link is in the description below. This PC is not going to be just for gaming, but I'm also going to use it to record content for YouTube. Specifically, what I'm looking for is to use it to record while I stream. But I don't want to record face cam or voice chat. I just want the gameplay and the in-game sound. My current gaming rig can't handle it. I do have a dual PC set up for streaming, and will not be changing my streaming PC right now. I want to keep it separate to reduce load, and also have some kind of level of redundancy, so if something goes wrong, my stream doesn't go down in case a game crashes my gaming PC. I've gone back and forth on which process to get. Intel or AMD, with Intel edging out AMD with gaming, but AMD edging out Intel in multi-threaded applications. Given performance to price, I decided to go with AMD. The i9 costs about $80 more than the Ryzen 9, and I'd also have to purchase a cooler. I then had to make a decision on which GPU to go with. I'm thinking about using NVEC, so I decided to go with NVIDIA GPU. Now the decision of which NVIDIA card to get. After some price to performance comparison, I decided to go with the RTX 2070 Super. The reason is that I'm only gonna be playing in 1080p, because of my monitors, which I do not plan on upgrading anytime soon, and the, and the 2080 Super is over $100 more, and the performance increase is really negligible. A 2080 Ti is completely out of my price range, and is also overkill for my system. Besides the case, which is Lian Li P011 Dynamic, I feel those two are the main decisions when picking a PC out. They are, after all, the two most expensive parts of the system. For the motherboard, I went with a Gigabyte Aorus Ultra. I mainly did some research on good motherboards for Ryzen 9, and this one came up in many lists. I also wanted one with built-in Bluetooth, so it can work on my Keychron keyboard. I was told AMD is very picky about the RAM, so I did a lot of checks on which one to get. I'm going with the G-Skill Trident Z 2x16 for 32GB. Since I plan on having a PC displayed while streaming, I opted for the LED version. Storage is going to be a 1TB of Samsung 970 NVMe. I went with a slightly older PSU, but a decent one nonetheless the Corsair 850X, which is a fully modular gold rated power supply. I'm also gonna throw in an internal capture card. So I picked up an Elgato Game Capture 4K60. So now this is a 4K capture card, and since I'm only gonna be running at 1080p, I really didn't need one this powerful. I probably could have saved a little bit of money by buying the older S60. Now onto the actual build.
All right, so we have it all put together and hopefully correctly. Now is the moment of truth. Will it post? And he shoots and scores. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. If you did, please hit that like button below. And if you have any questions about the build or any suggestions, please leave a comment. I'll do my best to answer it. If you'd like to see more content like this, then please smash that subscribe button. And as I mentioned earlier, you can also follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash mediocrity, where I stream Friday, Saturday, and Sunday evening, starting at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Till next time, YouTube, take it easy.